In this video I want to demonstrate how to create a triggered workflow. A triggered workflow is a workflow that kicks off after an event happens on the SCM server. So if, first I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new service manager workflow. So I'm going to call it uh, my triggered workflow. Pretty creative naming. Um, instead of doing schedule, I'm going to pick uh, when the database meets a device specified conditions and I'm going to browse um, to various management pack class types. So once that's complete, I'm going to do this on an incident. So I'm going to pick incident. And now we have a simple workflow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a format string Again, these workflows aren't very exciting, but they do just demonstrate various integration points. If you notice, we have several different ways of creating parameters, but the last one um, for a service manager um, kind of a triggered event is we can now bind to a service manager class property. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to retrieve all the class information from the management pack and provide you a pick list. This takes a few seconds. Once it's done, you'll see it's cached. So let's uh, first get the title. And we'll pick another property and I'm going to make this the description. And I'm able to do one more. So basically, what will happen is Service Manager will trigger an event when uh, an incident is created, and the workflow will be receiving these three parameters, uh, which can then be used throughout the workflow. I'm going to uh, just print these out. Again, this is not a very interesting um, workflow. And I'm going to steal again my uh, send mail because it's the easiest way to demonstrate. Uh, I was just showing this earlier to Travis, so uh, the title seems pretty good. And I'm going to do the out string here as my text, body, everything else looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy this, and it's similar to um, scheduled. Um, workflow deployment. This is pretty much walk through the wizard. You know, let's um, have to go with host. And this is a remote install. And you'll notice it's now selected um, when an object meets it. Now I'm going to see it when it's created. Uh, it gives me an option to change the binding to various properties. Well, I'm going to take what I set during the workflow. And now we should have our workflow available for us. Um, open our uh, server. Give it a second here. There it is. So I'm going to go over and create a new incident. So now when we go over here, look at our inbox, so let's do a refresh. Um, let's see, the workflow from my last video is still running. Let's clean that up. And there's the trigger event. And if we kind of look down at the body, you can see that that information came through to us. So in following videos, we'll start by doing some more interesting things. But the point here is we've demonstrated how to create activity packs with Power WF for Service Manager, how to create scheduled um, workflows and management packs for uh, Service Manager, and now finally how to trigger workflows and bind the parameters in there. Thanks for watching.